thought it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Let's look at the snow. We're riding in a wonderland of the snow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand with neighbors on hand. We're gliding along with the song of a wintry fairy land. Welcome to Andy Williams' early New England Christmas. Joining Andy in New England are his guests, Olympic champion Dorothy Hamill. I brought my skates for skating, the ice is waiting on cue. Come on, it's lovely weather for Christmas together with you. The star of the hit movie, Annie, Aileen Quinn. I watch those rails unraveling, love that traveling view. What's more, it's perfect weather for Christmas together with you. World-renowned flutist, James Galway. Good friend, Dick Van Patten. All winter I've been hoping that the slopes would open like new. It sure is perfect weather for a Christmas together with you. Shelburne Museum in Shelburne, Vermont, with Dorothy Hamill, Aileen Quinn, special appearance by James Galway, special guest star Dick Van Patten, and the Green Mountain Volunteers, La Famille Baudouin, the University of Vermont Choral Union, the Austin Hand Bell Choir, Eric Johansson, and the people of Vermont. It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling And everyone telling you be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time of the year It's the ha happiest season of all with those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call. It's the hap happiest season of all. There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting and caroling out in the snow. There'll be grandfather stories that tell of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time Yes, the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hello and welcome to Vermont. You know, Christmas in the United States actually began right here in New England. You probably have Christmas cards on your mantle right now, with scenes like this on. Christmas is a holiday full of cherished memories, a time for remembering the way we were. Now, what better place for it than right here at the Shelburne Museum in Shelburne, Vermont? Here in this collection of fine old buildings, some of them dating back 200 years, we're going to recapture the spirit and joy of a traditional American Christmas. So come celebrate it with us. 
Just like today, Christmas in the 1800s was a time to dance, to sing, to get together with loved ones and welcome them around the heart. Heart. I love that word, don't you? Welcome here, welcome here, all be alive and be of good cheer. Welcome here, welcome here, all be alive and be of good cheer. I've got a pie all baked complete, pudding too that's very sweet. Chestnuts are roasting, join us here while we dance and make good cheer. Welcome here, welcome here, all be alive and be of good cheer. Welcome here, welcome here, all be alive and be of good cheer. This is the house of Simon Dutton, a practical farmer who came to Vermont in 1781 and built his home. Times were rough, but preparing for Christmas always meant a celebration. Welcome, kind sir, to our humble home. Well, thank you, ma'am. Come and warm yourself by our hearth fire. All right. Hello, how are you? Hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> well, you kids look like you're ready for Christmas. Are you ready for Christmas? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, good. I've got an idea. Let's sit down here a second, and we can play a game. And this is a fun game. You want to play it? Yeah, yeah. All right, this is called, I want to find out what Christmas is all about. Now, maybe you can help me out. Uh, do you know what Christmas is? Mm -hmm. I think it's when Jesus is born, and we need to get a lot of presents. A lot of presents. How about you, Tim? I need a roast turkey and hopefully a new sled. The Christmas tree is decorated. All the shopping's done. Stockings line the fireplace. One by one. All the presents look so pretty. Tied with brightly colored bows All these things help make the season Still everybody knows Christmas needs love to be Christmas Christmas needs hearts full of joy be Christmas. It's something we all need more of. Year in, year out, I'm left with no doubt. The greatest of all gifts is love.
General Store. This place was probably the most important building in town. People could gather here during the winter and exchange news around the iron stove while they picked up provision. A friendly lot. The women could gossip and did. Did you hear that the widow Coberly has been spending time with old farmer Wood? Why, he's twice her age. And only half the fun, according to the widow, of course. And Aura finally had her baby. Oh, that's wonderful. See what I mean? The store buzzed at Christmas time, with Christmas cards to mail and new toys to pick up. But this place did just about everything and sold just about everything. Look at all that stuff they had. Everything from candy to White's Golden Tonic for horses out of condition. Anyway, this was the drugstore, the barber shop, and the post office. And the proprietor usually had to handle all those jobs himself. Yes, yes, yes. And a Merry Christmas to you, too, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> oh, Andy, my old friend. Well, well, well. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. What can I do for you? Well, I'd like to get a Christmas gift. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> and everybody else, right? I bet it's one of those last-minute ones. Am I right? Huh? Huh? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, yeah, you are right. It never fails. Most people put off their shopping until the last minute. Then it's just hurry, 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 hurry. You know, I had an uncle once who was always in a hurry. Sometimes he'd leave the house without his britches. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about him, didn't I, Jake? Uh -huh. uh, Jake. Yeah, it didn't do him no harm, though, until one year he did it in the dead of winter. What a tragedy. Took till spring to thaw him off the seat of his buckboard. <laughs> Jake, that's a bonafide jewel, isn't it? Oh, boy, Jake hasn't been the same and since he fell in the well. We all worry about him very much. You know, when you come into this store, you get just a tad more than jerky and feed, Andy. Come on, tell me, what can I do for you? Well, I told you I'm, uh, I would like to get a Christmas gift. What did you have in mind? Well, I was hoping that you'd help me out. Why is it, why is it that everybody comes in here at the last minute and wants me to help them pick out a Christmas gift, and a lot of the times they're sending them to somebody out west, somebody that I don't even know. Oh, now that's a big responsibility, Andy. Oh, well, like I always say, Christmas is like a wet dog. Oh, why is that? Oh, well, I honestly don't know. Uh, after all, I, I just run a general store. I don't pretend to be a philosopher. <laughs> Andy, what can I do for you? Well, I told you, I'm, I'm looking for a Christmas gift. Oh, Andy, 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 what am I going to do with you? You've got such a one-track mind. You know, Christmas isn't just running around like a crazed quail, buying up everything. It's about taking some time to do the things that you don't get to do all year. Like sharing yourself with other folks, enjoying their company and having them enjoy you. It's about simple things, like music and kicking up your heels. today are definitely not what they used to be. And we've come a long way since the days of the one-room Little Red Schoolhouse. You're kidding. One room? Did the different grades come in at different times? No, grades one through nine were all in school at the same time. I bet the teacher looked forward to Christmas vacation. Well, back then, they only had one day off for vacation. I bet their essays on what I did on my Christmas vacation were kind of short, huh? <laughs> I guess so. But they had other things to look forward to, like the Christmas pageant and <gasps> caroling. Excuse me, Mr. Williams. I've got to go. You're all up to the Hold on. Don't go anywhere. This one's yours. Nick, this one's yours. Okay, kids, everybody. 
everybody, take your seats. Quiet down, children. Quickly, we've got lots of work to do. Shh. As you know, tonight is our Christmas pageant, so I want you all to take your places for a rehearsal. Okay. Go ahead. Stand right there. Good girl. Shh. Out to the east, the, the... Magi. The Magi comes in quest of the long foretold. Three kings were they of royal fame in the wondrous days of old. All right, go ahead, Grace. You're doing fine. A little louder, though, please. Weary and slow, they traveled far out of the land of the morn, led on always by the guiding star in quest of the king newborn. They brought him gifts of the costliest things, sweet marae and many a gem, the homage of hearts, and treasure of kings to the manager of Bethlehem. That's manger. Oh, yes, to the manger of Bethlehem. He was God's first and best Christmas present to the world. That was how Christmas first came into fashion. It was such a good one that it has gone on ever since. The angel also gave us a gift that day. The angel said, let there be peace on earth.
song And if you like it Open your heart and sing along Sing along It's Christmas, it's Christmas It's finally Christmas We waited on you Just to spread Christmas cheer People are singing Bells will be ringing Soon it is going to be Christmas Day Christmas here in New England wasn't always the fun holiday that we know it today. Uh, as a matter of fact, at first it was just a religious occasion. Uh, in fact, Santa Claus didn't make his first appearance here until about, well, about 1860s. I heard that some of the people got fined up to five shillings just for celebrating Christmas in those days. Can you imagine if you uh, put those five shillings in a bank account way back then? Well, it'd be worth just about, you could almost buy a gallon of gas today. I don't drive. Oh. Well, I'm sure glad that everyone finally got to enjoy the holiday season. In fact, Vermont was the earliest of the uh, New England states to recognize Christmas Day as a legal holiday, so it all worked out. Well, it would have been a shame to miss all these parties and drinking and stuff that goes on at Christmas. <laughs> well, you mean like the party that's going on over here in the Vermont house? Yeah, in this old oh. retired sea captain's house. It's full of great antiques from Queen Anne. Really? Mm -hmm. And at Christmas time, it was always filled with fun and elegant entertainment. Right, James?
was the community center. It was a place for social gatherings, political meetings, and, and above all, for public worship. All religion shared this house, usually under the guidance of the same minister. The Episcopalians came at 9 o'clock, and the Presbyterians at 10, and so on. The poor minister must have had a heck of a time just keeping track of who he was saving and at, and at what time. But everyone lifted their voices to heaven at Christmas time. Yeah. 
disappeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of the weary world rejoices for Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our New England Christmas party. And now let's keep everything going. I'll give to you a paper of pins, for that's the way our love begins. If you will marry me, 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 if you will marry me. I'll not accept your paper of pins. That's not the way my love begins. And I'll not marry you, you, you. I'll give to you a big old hoss that paced these hills from cross to cross. If you will marry me, 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 if you will marry me. I'll not accept your big old hoss that paced these hills from cross to cross. And I'll not marry you, 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 and I'll not marry you. I'll give to you my hand and heart that we might wed and never part. If you will marry me, 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 if you will marry me. I'll not accept your hand and heart that we may wed. Never part, and I won't marry you, 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 and I won't marry you. I'll give to you the key to my chest so you'll have gold at your request. If you will marry me, 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 if you will marry me. I will accept the key to your chest so I'll have gold at my request. And I will marry you, 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 and I will marry you. Now you love coffee and I love tea. You love my gold, but you don't love me. And I'll not marry you, 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 and I'll not marry you. If you'll not marry me, 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 
I will marry thee. If you'll marry me, I will happy be then, then I'll, I'll marry, marry you. you. Attention, everyone. It's now time for the game, The Queen of Sheba. We need a chair. And we need uh, the Queen of Sheba. We need the prettiest girl in the place. Oh, oh yes, of course. Now, let me see. We need two suitors. Oh, two cute suitors. There's one. The way you get the girl is you have to kiss her. Oh, well, that sounds easy. Sure Except does. for one thing. Both of you are blindfolded. <laughs> oh, See that? Celebrating is a lot of fun, but you've got to be careful. Now, what is your name? Marcus. And your name? Caroline. Caroline and Marcus. I like those names. Okay, now, let me tell you something. It's all fun and goodies now, but on the night after Christmas in your house and in your house, everyone will be sleeping as quiet as a mouse. Your parents have tucked you all snug in your bed with an ache in your tummy and a pain in your head. Your tummies will be filled and stuffed to the wall when you gobble up lollipops, dinner, and all. Now that means a visit from good Dr. Doyle. There. Yeah. And you know what he has in his bag. That's right. <gasps> Castor oil. So go easy on the cake and the jam and the jelly. Your folks will appreciate it and so will your belly. You might think I am meddling, but wait till you're grown. Some Christmas you'll tell this to kids of your own. But since there is only one Christmas each year, go eat all you want and be of good cheer. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you. Hey everybody, I just want to say how wonderful it's been spending this Christmas with you. But before we wind our way home with visions of sugar plums and all that stuff, how about one more dance, huh? <laughs>
Christmas, everyone. Tomorrow night, she was a pop singer, a superstar, and she had it all, but it was too much. Sandra Locke and Tony Orlando star in Rosie, the Rosemary Clooney story, tomorrow at 9, 8 Central and Mountain.